Welcome back folks to Let's Play Goblins, and when last we left off, the King's Malady has been cured, which is great news! Unfortunately, the evil wizard that made the malady in the first place is still at large, and rather than send the armies of the King against the wizard, who likely could just kill them all with magic, it's up to us to find the supreme weapon that we can use against the wizard. We have to deal with this situation though, a screen with a giant on it, and I can see three things that I want to use pretty soon. There's this item barely in view, there is a bowl, and there is a cork within the ear of the giant. To get that item, I'm going to want to put this book down first, because the last thing I want to have happen is for the Book of Witchcraft to be hidden in this small area, though I imagine the game will have uh, taken that into consideration, and you could probably still grab it, even if you put it down here. So what is this item? It is some bait. What would I need bait for? I don't know, maybe I don't need it at all. So let's uh, put this down. I've just noticed something else as well. Right here there is a tiny thing that is in the ground. And if there's a tiny thing that's in the ground that looks like it could become something else, it's up to Hooter to do something with it using magic. So off you go! That's not quite where I wanted you to aim. Do I have to aim at this coat of arms instead? I do! Is that something that we can grab? No. Is it something that we can use? No. And I doubt Hooter can do anything with magic, so Bobo, it's all up to you! Time for you to punch whatever this thing is. We'll find out what it is in a moment. It was a lever that activates one of those famous ladder statues that don't ever exist in anything ever. This game is definitely entering into the moon logic stage of things, because how were you meant to figure out that that would happen? Either way, we can now get up here to this cork, and can we take it? No. We can't do anything with it either with Dwayne. Can we punch it with Bobo? No. Which means, the only thing we can do is have Hooter use some magic. Give it a go! Feel the power of his magic! And it worked! The cork is gone! Now what are we going to do with the fact that, uh, we've done that? We have an ear. Maybe we can use the Book of Witchcraft on the ear? It's a long stretch, but right now I think that's what I want to do. Hmm. Let's give it a go. <laughs> oh! That has made the giant happy! Also notice that the giant briefly uh, shed some tears. That finger being uh, over there is quite important, because that means that we can now move past. And we can grab this bait and uh, place it over there if we want to. But right now I'm going to grab this bowl. I get the feeling the bowl is going to be useful. There is a uh, stairway up there, which is good. Grab the bowl, and move away just in case something bad happens. Something bad very well uh, could happen. Right. What do we want to do now? We have three items. We have the book, the bowl, and some bait, and we have a really happy giant. I was really afraid that the giant would be an enemy we'd have to face. There was a bowl up here. By that logic, maybe something goes up there? I doubt leaving a book there will help, but leaving the bait might help? Oh! There's a horrible monster there! A really horrible monster. I can't think of a name for you. 
Normally I can think of names for uh, various creatures that we encounter on our adventures, but you? Nope, nope, there is no name that I can think of for you. Hmm. What do I want to do? The bowl I could use to get some of the, uh, some of the tears. What if I put it here? And then... Notice that it went there as opposed to here, which tells me that I'm doing something right. Let's do this again. <laughs> I think that worked. Let's grab this and uh, see if it's full of something. Yes, it's full of tears. Do you want the tears of a giant? horrible monster? It's worth a go. It's literally the only thing that we have. Would you like them? Oh. I think we killed it. Or we turned it into something else. Let's put this down here and grab the item beneath the bowl. And then grab the bowl, put the bowl down. That looks like a slingshot to me. Is that the supreme weapon? A slingshot? Apparently so! It's a catapult and it is the ultimate weapon! This raises many questions about the military strength of the Goblin Kingdom. Questions we're never going to get the answer for. Let's move on. Password get. We are back here, and the person that was here is gone, and there's very little that we can do right now. The only things that we can do is interact with this, or interact with the bananas. Let's interact with the bananas. With our catapult. You're a pretty good shot. Did we have to do that to get access to the... Yeah, we probably did, because the bananas were in the way. And so, we're going to use this, and I'm going to guess that, um... We're not going to be able to do this with Dwayne or Hooter. It is just a switch, which means... FOMO! Time to punch it! Aha! A fish is here now. Do we have to get on the fish? I think we do! I think that's our method of transportation out of here! Also, this water is a very unsavory shade of green. They really need to do something about uh, cleaning up this water. But either way, we are now off on our fish-based adventure! Maybe this will bring us to where the evil wizard is. Maybe. Password get! set off downstream towards the underground caves, where the wizard is poisoning the bowels of the earth with his infamous potion. Why would you do that, wizard? Well, I just feel like being really, really evil! Super evil! Don't be super evil! That's a really poor idea. A really poor idea. Well, we know what to do about you being super evil. Hey, wizard, we have the supreme weapon. Take this. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, it would seem like Dwayne is in some trouble. Let's see what we can do to get Dwayne out of that trouble. I see something very conspicuous, which is this rock. Can we make a ladder with it? Not if we click there, we can't. Or here. There, however. There we go. We can now get up to here. And then we're probably going to want to... Do we want to punch the wizard? No. Punching the wizard's not going to make any difference. 
I do like the fact that the game has gone, hey, you can't use Dwayne to solve this problem. We're gonna have to use somebody else. We could try punching the wizard. Actually, let's try punching the wizard, shall we? That was a poor idea. Let's not punch the wizard, shall we? Let's use some magic instead. We're on our last bit of health now. That worked. Oh. And now the wizard has turned into a tortoise monster, and now we can't use Hooter. Hmm. What are we going to do now? We're going to have to think of something. There's a bag. There's the cauldron. Hmm. There's a rope. The rope is here. Let's use the rope. Can we get the rope? That would be nice. Aha! Let's grab that. Fortunately, the wizard seems quite content to just uh, keep that goblin uh, from doing anything, rather than actually deal any harm. We're probably going to have to use... We're going to have to use it here, aren't we? We can't actually get to the face of the wizard from this angle. But I bet we can... No, no, I want you to use it here. No? Here? Or here, maybe? Close? I want it to be over here so that we can... Maybe it has to be here. No. I know what I want to do. I want to get the rope. Ah, what about here? There we go. I wanted to get the rope over here so that I could get up there. Okay. Only Bobo can get up to this point. So only Bobo can solve this situation. Which means that we're going to be punching the wizard in the face. This time it's time to use the fisticuffs. Off you go, Bobo! <laughs> Ah, right. We have to do something now to save Bobo, and we only have Dwayne and Hooter with which to do that. We know that, uh, you don't like spiders. Hmm. We could... I have an idea. And that involves the, uh... That involves the catapult. That involves the catapult. See if we can use the catapult to free Bobo. It's worth a go. Aha! I'd move if I were you. The wizard is right there, and uh, I don't want the wizard to fall on your head. So, you are currently really angry. I could definitely see you being really angry, and I think we're going to have to catch you in this bag. Fortunately, this bag is huge, but we can pick it up. Let's put it beneath you. Okay. And now... We know that punching isn't going to work because you're scared of spiders, and I doubt the catapult is going to work because we've just used the catapult. So the best thing we can do is use some magic. Hooter, it's all up to you. Use your magic. And hopefully that magic will do something and turn the wizard into something else. That is, after all, what the magic is used for. I'm going to move you far out of the way, just in case something happens. You're the only one that can use the uh, bag, after all. And so, let's use some magic. Hopefully it'll work. Aha! Got you. Potentially. There we go! A full bag. Marvelous. You are trapped, evil wizard! You will poison the earth no more. I think we've won. 
victory is ours! There they are, the heroes of the Goblin Kingdom, Dwayne, Bobo, and Hooter! They have cured the malady of the king, and they have dealt with the evil wizard who was plotting to poison the earth. There the wizard is, in a bottle. I'm sure we'll never see that wizard ever again. Ever. And so with that, I do believe the game is over. And also, you can keep trying to inflate that, uh, tire there. It's never going to stay inflated. You really should just deal with the hole where the air is going out. And that is, I believe, the end of Goblins! A short but enjoyable game, more enjoyable than I thought it would be, although there are things that uh, hold it back, like that health system. The health system prevents experimentation because uh, health does not get regained between screens, which is a shame. I think if uh, some health was regained after uh, every screen, that would make it uh, a lot better. I wonder how long this tune is going to be. And then they played forever, and nobody ever left the celebration. After the 14th hour, people started to grow angry. The game does have the charm of the first Goblins game, and I did find that as I was playing that I was enjoying it more and more, and more importantly, that I was getting a feel for how the puzzles worked. You used Hooter to solve certain types of things, and uh, Bobo to solve other kinds of things, and Dwayne, of course, was the only one that could deal with actual inventory items. And it would seem that we go all the way back to the beginning of the game now. So let's uh, just quickly go back to the intro, to the very first screen, so I can talk a bit more about goblins, with the nice music in the background and that bird that keeps flying by forever. Because time keeps circling for these goblins! Never will they break the time loop! Or rather, this is just a way so that the uh, game doesn't just boot you out to DOS, just in case you want to play again and maybe do it a little bit better. To be fair, if you've managed to complete the game, you'll know the solution to every puzzle, and in theory you won't lose any health at all. This game is very short if you know all the solutions though, or if you can figure them out quickly like I did. You could probably get this game done in under an hour if you were really quick. And that is another thing that works against the game. There isn't that much longevity to it. The longevity comes from the health system. I feel if the health system was gone and the puzzles were instead made more difficult and longer, the game would be a lot better. But as it stands, I found myself enjoying the game more than I thought I would. It is flawed, yes, but all of the Goblins games are flawed in one way or another. This game is just more flawed than the others. Goblins 2, and especially Goblins 3, have some serious cases of moon logic. This game, a little less, although at the end there definitely were a few instances, it's mainly that health system. I don't like the health system. Also, I wish that some of the things here would do things like, uh, have maybe a few options that you could uh, mess around with. There are no options in the game at all. A few options would have been nice, but those are only minor complaints. The game is still pretty, the music in the CD version is still very nice, and ultimately, though the game is short and the health system is there, it was still enjoyable. And I'm glad that I've managed to round off the original three games in the Goblin series. That said, there is a fourth one that came out in 2009, and I do own it. But I think that's for another time, don't you? The kingdom has been saved, and now we know the full story of the Goblins trilogy. This one leads on to the second game, where you control Fingers and Winkle, and that game leads off to the third one, where you are Blount. And oh my, Goblins 3. I'm now remembering Goblins 3, and man is that an enjoyable game. I love that game, and the second game, and while I wouldn't put this game in the same rank as uh, Goblins 2 and 3, it's still pretty enjoyable. Could be better, but it could also be a lot worse. And so... I'm Kikoskia, and that was Let's Play Goblins! And when we come back, folks, who can say? Maybe we'll play a game that's a little bit longer, though. I thought this game might be a little bit longer than it actually was. 
And then it surprised me by going, hey, this, this game's actually really short. It's a really, really brief quest. We just go to a few places, go to a weird parallel dimension, and then it's over. Also, that was the happiest fish that I've ever seen. I'm just thinking back to the uh, image with them all uh, on the back of the fish. That fish was so happy. Hello, I'm in a cutscene. Happiest fish. And so, when we come back, folks, a different game completely that most likely will have 100% less goblins than this game. That said, they were referred to as elves at one point. Maybe in this uh, setting, goblins and elves are the same thing. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. Have fun standing outside that house forever! Oh, and if you want some advice, don't ask the wizard for help. The wizard may be a bit evil. Just a little. Call it a hunch. Later.